movement here in Western New York. When we talk about racism, we understand who the primary target of racism is. Although we have certain divisions amongst us due to religious differences, dealing with the Muslim and the Jewish and the Christian differences, that also cause division amongst us. Our primary issue here as black youth, we see the black youth walking past, they have no interest in stopping. There's a reason for that. They don't realize that this is necessarily for them. As the children walk past, they don't know that we're talking about making sure that the police don't shoot them no more. Now, there's a reason that they don't understand that. They don't understand that because they don't see the value in themselves right now. They don't understand that the value that we put in them is well deserved. Now, if they don't value their life when it's taken, how can they be expected to react properly? Correct? So, what we are here to do is correctly educate our children. That's what we've been doing this entire time. We've been talking to the children as they walk past, trying to let them know the need for proper education, proper history, proper heritage. We all know as we stand here today the falsities that have been taught in schools. It's up to us to teach the truth. Everybody can finish this sentence for me. It takes a village to raise a child. Right. Now, the Pan-African in me tells us that that saying comes from Africa, correct? So we're talking about it takes a village to raise a child. What kind of village are we talking about? We are talking about an African village raising the African children to make sure that y'all have the self-worth to know that when, the, when one of y'all's life is taken, you're supposed to feel it. You're supposed to rise up and make sure it just gets you. I'm talking to the youth, brother. I'm not here for nobody else. When they say disarm the police, when they say justice for Michael Brown, when they say Trayvon Martin, that's you. That's you and your cousins and your brothers. Am I wrong? If that happened here today, what's going to happen? If somebody shot y'all right now, one of these guys decided they wanted to shoot one of these youth today, what's going to happen? They're going to expect us to come out here and stand and preach. The realization is we need to unify before that happens. We need to learn about ourselves before that happens. And we represent the Honorable Mark Society Garvey who gave us our Constitution. He gave us our Declaration of Rights. He gave us nationhood. We are Pan-Africans. And as Pan-African youth, you must know that this flag represents you. The red represents the blood of your ancestors. The black represents your skin. And the green represents Mother Africa. The more you know about your history, the less this nonsense will be happening. Unification is a must. One God, one aim, one destiny. Black Lives.